The national radon test is about to begin. Have you heard of radon? Radon? Rad oh, radon. Is it something that comes up out the ground or something? Is that a gas? Something dangerous that you're supposed to check on to make sure it's not in your home. What is radon? Well, radon is naturally occurring. It's a gas. It's released from the decay of uh, radium, which is uh, in the environment. Why worry about it? Radon is the second leading cause of lung cancer. What causes cancer is as radon decays, it produces little solid particles. And some are just the, the precise size that can be easily inhaled and deposited in lung. Once they're deposited, they can initiate the cancer. The U.S. Surgeon General warns that indoor radon is the second leading cause of lung cancer in the U.S. after smoking. The Environmental Protection Agency estimates that 21,000 lung cancer deaths each year are caused by radon, and radon causes lung cancer in smokers and non-smokers alike. Radon can be found all over the U.S. and in any type of building, including homes, offices, and schools. A Harvard University report ranked radon number one in a list of home hazards. Radon gets in buildings because the air pressure inside a building is usually lower than pressure in the soil surrounding it. This difference causes the building to act like a vacuum, drawing radon in through foundation cracks and other openings. The greatest exposure risk to radon is at home, simply because this is where people spend most of their time. Wow. So what do you do about it? The Office of the Surgeon General recommends all homes be tested for radon. Uh, false. False. It's true. True. All homes, uh, more or less, should be uh, tested. It's the only way to make certain that a particular home or that my home or your home does not have a high level of radon. Testing your home is easy and radon problems can be fixed. Every home should be tested for radon. And if tests show four or more picocuries of air, simple, effective, and non-expensive action should be taken to reduce the level of radon. When is the best time to test your home for radon? The best time to do a test is to do it now. Um, however, um, it does make it a little easier to test in the fall or the winter or the spring because those are the times when you typically have your windows and doors closed anyway. How do you reduce high radon levels? What I have done is drilled a hole in the floor and I am tapping into that airspace under the floor where the radon is coming out and I'm pulling that air through this pipe on up into the attic and there's a fan that runs continuously there that will constantly pull that air through this pipe and exhaust the air that was coming into the basement out above the roof where it won't re-enter the home. Radon problems can be easily fixed. Even high radon levels in most homes can be lowered to an acceptable level for about the same cost as other common home repairs. How do you find a trained professional? Well, a good place to start is with your county or state health departments. Many counties and uh, state health departments have lists of people that have had training and credentialing. Testing and fixing radon not only gives you and your family peace of mind, but it also tells others who might want to buy your home that it is safer and healthier. And that's a big benefit when selling or buying a home. New homes can be built to protect your family from radon. Building a new home? Build it green and healthy with indoor air features that keep radon low and improve overall indoor air quality and energy efficiency. It's cost-effective and smart to do in new homes. My advice to other people would be to do the test. It doesn't take very much time. It's very inexpensive and it can be done very easily. Once you have the system in, you don't have to worry about it. There aren't any additional ongoing costs and it's more than worth it just to not have to worry about it because we really don't know what the long-term risks are. I'm going to call. I'm going to check into it. Yes, I'm worried. I'm seriously going to get that kit. If I don't take care of it, nobody else will. 1-800-SOS-RADON. You see, she's the brighter sister. Yeah, I told you. <laughs>